Alright guys, today's video, I'm going to be here on my Galaxy Note 2. This is the Verizon uh, version of it. So let me just show you guys, just to make sure you're all on the same page. I'm going to show you guys how to install this ROM right here. This is Carbon ROM, um, and it is actually, you can see right here, this is Android version 4.3, newest Android version. So this device is, if I can show it to you here, there we go, the SCH dash I 605 is the model number which is again the Galaxy Note 2 Verizon version and uh, we're running right here carbon ROM Jelly Bean nightly um, this is a nightly so it does get updated about every two or three days something like that if you guys want to update it um, might have a couple bugs in it if you can find a stable version you can download that again like always guys I'm gonna give you guys links in the video description down below so no big deal there um, so let's go ahead, and I'm, since I already got this ROM installed, I'm just going to go through some of it and show it to you guys um, so you can get a good view of what this thing's about and uh, see if you want to install this on your Note 2. So first of all, let's go ahead and go into here and see the toggles, notifications, I guess these aren't toggles, I think these are quick buttons, I don't remember what they call them. Anyway, um, you can see I have no network right there, just emergency calls only. Um, that's just because I don't have a SIM in this device right now, but let's go ahead and go into settings. And Wi-Fi is working. I mean, I'm running off that right now, so that's all good. Um, right here, this carbon section of your settings is where all the magic happens for this device. Um, one of the things right here, just really quick, is just changing your UI look, which is darked out or um, kind of a lighter look on there. Um, settings, all those kind of usual stuff. And then we get down here, and you can see that Super Suit is built into it. We do have app privacy already in this ROM, which is very nice. You can actually go into um, a specific app. Let's say, like, oh, here we go, Torch. And you can see the permissions that this thing has. And you can edit those permissions and um, change them if you don't want the app to have access to that certain permission on your device. Um, so that's kind of nice if you're really worried about security on your device. You have this built-in app privacy. Um, you do have about phone right down here, which we showed you guys already. And Super Sue built-in developer options for turning on USB debugging and uh, things like that. So let's go up back up here and let's see. Let's go through some of these carbon settings really quick. It does come with Theme Chooser built-in. So if you go on the market and you download any Theme Chooser theme, you can apply it right here very easily which is very very nice you got performance stuff in here for processor CPU speeds um, governors, schedulers, all that kind of goodies in there that you can change and set up and you saw that already and then all this carbon fibers this is the craziness right here so we have status bar toggles and you can change things here and rearrange and pick coloring um, all kinds of different stuff for layouts very very fun um, status bar so here's where you can change your battery icons your clock so I'm just going to show you the difference here so this is clock center up on top we can go clock right and it goes over to the right um, your clock color all that kind of stuff is changed in here uh, power menu, so this is going to be the menu when you hold your power button down. This is the menu that comes up and you can adjust what's on here. I never use airplane mode, I'm going to turn, take that off my power menu. But screenshots and reboot menu I definitely use a lot. And actually sound I don't either, so I'll take that off also. Um, navigation, so here you, you got these keys on the bottom, these two that light up and dim out there. But you can also go ahead and enable the soft keys on the bottom of the screen if you like those better that are just on screen keys. And then customize and color all of those. Very sweet right there. Lock screen stuff. You can go through this. Normal coloring and all that kind of stuff. Interface is some clock widgets and things, how things display. And some other little transparency settings and things like that. And then we also have hollow. And this enables it. And this has to do with notifications and other things like that. There's a whole bunch to this. I'm not going to go through it. It's like a whole other video for early if you're going to go through it all. Um, but that is included in here and can be enabled. So that's all, that's most of your carbon settings. Now, I did download some of my applications on here already, but it does come with Apollo. 
Um, the file manager right there comes with that. Comes with Goo Manager, if I remember right. It does come with this hollow thing right here. This app right here, which also links back to that other uh, setting. ROM stats, it did come with. And yeah, Torch. I think it came with Torch also. So those are most of the things it does come with already. Then you can see a bunch of widgets and you can get a widget right to go to fiber, but it's also built in right here. So if you want to go straight to those fiber settings, carbon fiber settings, it's right there, which is really easy to get to. Um, one thing I did check, let me just show you guys this really quick, is the S Pen. And it does have at least functionality. You can see the little pointer on there. Um, but obviously this is based on AOSP, which is um, like stock Android and uh, you don't have all those fun Galaxy, you know, Samsung applications in there. If you make an Android backups, I'm sure you could restore them and uh, get them on there and probably get most of them running if you guys want to do that. Um, backup, use Titan backups, backup those APKs or whatever you want to do. Okay, so that's pretty much the ROM. We've gone through it all. Lastly, let's go ahead and do the prerequisites and show you guys how to install this. Um, basically, you're going to need to have an unlocked bootloader. You're going to need to have some sort of custom recovery installed, uh, whether that's a Clockwork Mod Recovery, uh, Team Win Recovery Project, or Torp. Uh, either one really doesn't matter. And you're going to have to boot into recovery. You can use Goo Manager to boot into recovery if you have root access on your device because you're going to need that too. So root access, unlock bootloader, custom recovery. So we got Goo Manager. We're going to go ahead and allow Super Sue access. And then we're just going to go reboot recovery, hit yes. Um, obviously, you guys are going to want to have, um, there we go. You guys are going to want to have the ROM and the Google applications, the 4.3 Google applications, or will they also call them the CM 10.2 Google applications, already on your device and know where they're at. So first thing I would do is go in here and make an Android backup by selecting all these swiping across to create a backup alright so I'm not going to do that backup and I'm going to show you why because I already have a restore file right up here of Jedi X last ROM I was running and it's right there if I ever need it from yesterday or whatever so no big deal I'm not going to go ahead and do this backup right this minute but make sure you do that in case something goes wrong with your install you can always restore that it's super important to have um, so before we do the install we're going to go ahead and go to wipes and just swipe across and it will wipe out everything to get a fresh fresh uh, install here then we're going to go to installs uh, I have my ROM under ROMs and then you're going to select the carbon ROM nightly and then you're going to choose another file you're going to select the Google applications for Jelly Bean like I said this is 4.3 or CM 10.2 Google applications and then you see got two files listed max 10 Go ahead and swipe across, and it's going to go ahead and install this. Um, install is pretty quick. This is a small file. Um, you're only looking at, I think, a 150 megabytes for the ROM, and then the Google applications are like 80 megabytes, or I think, or less, if I remember correctly. Um, very, very simple to install, and shouldn't take too long. When we're done, uh, all we have to do from there is do a simple reboot, and we will be booting up for the first time. Uh, first time boot up, like I always tell everybody, is a minimum of 10 minutes. Most ROMs are a lot faster than that, especially on the newer devices, but it could take that long. If it doesn't boot in 10 minutes, obviously you're going to have to get back into recovery and restore your Android backup because something went wrong. So here we go, reboot system. And we should be rebooting. I'm just going to stand here really quick because I want to show you guys the boot animation. Um, and then basically what's going to happen is once we got it, there's Carbon ROM right there. That's their boot animation. Uh, going to take about 10 minutes. This thing's going to boot to your startup screen. And you'll have to go through the setup wizard. And you'll be good to go. Let it boot up and you'll be up and running Carbon ROM Android version 4.3 on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 Verizon version or the i605. There you go, guys. That's going to be my video. I'm going to let this thing boot. As always, please, please check me out right here at rootjunkie.com. I'm going to be doing some giveaways on there quite soon, actually. Or right up here, you can click on the link. 
You can follow me on Facebook or Twitter over there on the side. And that's it. Uh, let it boot, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. She boots.